it's true that economics is often called the dismal science and it makes you feel cold and almost like a bean counter if you're just saying well how much money does that cost and how much good does that do but of course the alternative not thinking about how much good do you do for every dollar doesn't make the constraint we only have a limited amount of money to do good go away but it certainly means that we end up leaving this world less good than what it could otherwise have been. So while I understand the emotion, we also want to feel good. We also want to make sure that we have done good. The ultimate arbiter of that will have to be, well, how much money did we spend and how well did we spend it? So I think it can inform our choices and hopefully make it possible for us to make sure that we didn't just feel good, that we didn't just feel like, oh, this was really cool but that we actually left this world a better world. Because fundamentally, I don't think our kids and grandkids are gonna feel great about what we did simply because we had great speeches or felt very good about ourselves. But ultimately, they're gonna judge us on how well we did. If you look throughout human civilization, we've had lots of problems that seemed insurmountable at the time, but we've overcome them because we're quite innovative species. So my biggest fear is not that we're not going to do much better in the future. My biggest fear is that we're not going to do as well as we possibly could. We have lots of solutions. We have immense cost-effective solutions. Let's pick those and let's not just make simple, politically correct, but ultimately feeble ways to tackle uh, the future. But let's make the effective ones. Looking out 50 years ahead is always fraught with difficulty. Uh, but if we look at the only scenarios that have actually been made from the UN Climate Panel, they indicate that we'll have a world that will be much richer. And likewise, the World Health Organization and the World Food Organization tell us of a world that will be much healthier, live much longer, and quite likely will be much better fed. So fundamentally, it's going to be a world that will be much better. Whether it'll be a little more better or a little less better, is the choices that we really have to decide. And I hope that we're going to make good choices, but I fear that we're just going to make the choices to make us feel good, but won't actually affect very much into the future. What businesses can do, well, they can hope to steer this conversation, not by picking the easy and simple and politically correct solutions themselves, but by insisting in the public discourse that this has to be about what is effective, not just what makes us feel good. Mm -hmm.